Hey, welcome to the Story Lab. This week we're talking about faith while we take a look at the story of God's most amazing gift to us. Hey, I'm Carter. And I'm Zeke. We're talking about faith. Which is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Which is where our story starts. Take it away. Hey everybody, call me Brian. So, the people of Ephesus came from a wide variety of backgrounds and cultures, and the church in Ephesus reflected that. Jewish people and non-Jewish people, rich people and poor people, together, they were learning what it meant to follow Jesus. The Bible has two parts, the Old Testament and New Testament. Ephesians is in the New Testament, right after Galatians, but before Philippians. We call it a book, but it's really a letter, written by a man named Paul, to a church, or a group of people who follow Jesus, in a city called Ephesus. Even though it was written to the Ephesians a long time ago, Paul's letter can still help us today. A person's faith in Jesus is the most important thing about them, more important than their hair color, or where they were born, or what language they speak. Paul said no matter how different people are, through Jesus, they can have unity. Unity just means staying together with other people because you have something in common. Paul tried to remind them that everyone who has faith in Jesus has one amazing thing in common. Jesus rescued all of them. Paul said the church was like a building made of stones, and Jesus was the cornerstone, holding the whole building together. So we can be glad the church is full of so many different kinds of people. Our differences can even be a gift from God, because our differences can make us a better team. We can thank God for one another and pray for each other and serve one another with the same kind of love Jesus has. Paul said when that happens, we can know how wide and long and high and deep God's love is. And we can trust in God's power. God's power helps us to live our lives in a new way. God helps us tell the truth and follow Jesus' example. God can also help us love the people we care about our families, neighbors, and friends. Paul said following Jesus was like choosing to walk in the light instead of in the dark. Paul wanted one thing, for everyone who follows Jesus to know that faith in Jesus is more powerful than anything that tries to divide us. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do, it's God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done. No one can brag about earning it. Every single one of us has turned away from God, starting with the very first people. We've all done wrong things, and the consequences of that sin is separation from God. But Jesus changed all that. He took our consequences so that we can be saved, so that we don't have to be separated from God. Salvation starts in the heart of God. It's an outpouring of God's deep, deep love for us. Now God offers salvation to each one of us as grace, a complete and total gift. You might picture it like this. Say you're on a boat. You spot a school of colorful fish in the water below. So you lean way over the rail to see, so far over ugh, that you lose your balance and fall in. You can't swim well. <laughs> and you're desperate to keep your head above water. You gasp for air, but just as you think, you can't hold on any longer. The captain tosses out a life ring. Whew. Now you got something to hold on to. You're gonna make it. Even though you didn't do a thing to deserve it or earn it, your only job is to grab that life ring and hold on tight. Now it's tempting to think that there's something we can do to make us more deserving of God's gift, like, uh, like going to church, praying a lot, doing good stuff. And yeah, those are all really great things, but not one of them will help you earn life with God forever. We need God to do a work in our hearts. God gives us the grace to believe in who Jesus is and what he did for us. And only then are we able to put our faith in Jesus and choose to follow him. It's an incredible gift, one worth hearing again. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done. 
No one can brag about earning it. The most awesome thing is that God offers this amazing gift to everyone. So, what's What's our part in the story? God made each of us in God's very own image to play a unique part in this epic adventure. And the first step is simply to believe in who Jesus is and what he's done for us. Jesus is for everyone. Bye, George. I think you've got it. See you next time. So, here's the thing. Jesus is a gift for everyone. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast.